Hello, my name is Morgan Dykes. For those of you who might not know me, um, I've been on executive board for several years now, and as I'm sure a lot of you might have known, I started out really, really shy, but I've gotten kind of crazy and my personalities come out, as you guys, I'm sure, have noticed. I was dancing on the dinosaur costume today, um, but time really does fly by. Take every opportunity that's given to you. Um, 4-H gives you so many of them, and they will change your life. And the friends you'll build in 4-H will change your life, and you'll have them forever. They'll become your family. Um, and that's all I've got to say. So here's the thesis. My name is Amanda Rozier. I've been in 4-H for nine years, and it has been the biggest blessing in my life. What other program do you wait 365 days to see your best friends at? With 4-H comes responsibility as you become more involved, but there is no greater value than the connections and friendships you build on the way, and the skills and career prep instilled in you through each project and service activity. The only thing I regret is not reaching higher and pushing myself farther sooner. One phrase to live by is you get out of it as much as you are willing to put into it. Looking back, I wish I had taken each individual as a gift because now I have a deeper comprehension of people being the lifeline that hold you up. Focus on having an attitude of gratitude and appreciate all those who have invested and played a role in your life. That being said, I would like to thank my 4-H leader, Amy Turner, and my parents for helping me along the way. Thank you. Um. My favorite 4-H memory was probably my second executive board last year. Um, we got a bunch of hammocks and like stacked them up and we were all like stacked up in hammocks and messing around with, the, with all the hammocks and stuff and it was, it was really fun and also made some really good friends that executive board and got closer to other people. Um, and I also want to thank my agents, Brian Estevez and Ali Shortinghouse as well as Jeremy Johnson, um, one of the uh, staff at my county. Um, they've all been really helpful with all my uh, county and district and state events, all the stuff that I've done, all my clubs. Um, I can never have done it without you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm going to miss you guys. I would never replace any of this, the, my time for 4-H for anything. It's been some of the best years, some of the best times of my life. It's been amazing. Hi, my name is Clarissa Williamson. I'm from Oklahoma County, and my favorite 4-H memory would have to be when me and my friends go to our local livestock show. I really enjoy not only um, laughing and enjoying um, cleaning our animals for the show ring, but also um, helping out the younger generation um, and seeing the techniques that they have learned over the years. And I would also like to thank my family for being there, my agents, everybody in um, the Okaloosa County 4-H program, they really have helped me um, grow as a person and through my leadership as well as through my sportsmanship as well. Hi, my name is Elise and I've been involved in 4-H for about eight years now. And I'd like to start off with thanking my awesome 4-H agents and all my wonderful friends that I've met throughout my journey being involved in 4-H. Um, one of my favorite 4-H memories was going on a uh, service project where we went to an assisted living home and we delivered pajamas around Christmas time. And we actually went on a really good day because it was karaoke night. So um, after we had passed out all the pajamas, we got to sing karaoke with some of the uh, members there and it was really fun. And um, we're planning on going back there soon. But um, my 4-H journey has led me to meet awesome people and learn amazing things, and I just hope that everybody involved in 4-H now and or thinking about in, uh, being involved in 4-H just finds the journey as exciting and awesome as I did. <laughs> so hello, my name is Ani East Ambrose, and I've been a part of 4-H for two years now. Um, I've known about 4-H for four years, but I didn't join until my junior year of high school, and I've got to say that it's been delightful. I love the club that I became a part of. They've become my family, and they've supported me through a lot of stuff, and I now I would say that they have become my closest friends. Um, <laughs> they 
are the ones that I hang out most with, and I'm always talking with them, texting them, and I'm going off to UCF next year, well, January, so which is very exciting, and they really, they kind of helped me on this journey to UCF. They were the ones that kind of pushed me and guided me and gave me lots of advice for college, even though they're younger than me. Um, I'm the only one that's graduating this year, and so it's going to be tough without them, but hopefully I will get to greet them in future years and we'll stay together. Um, I did sewing. I was part of Flagler Village Monarchs, and I sewed for the two years I was a part of it, and it's become a t like a skill that I will never forget. Um, I've made so many outfits in part, a part of my club. I've won competitions, which was amazing. It's something, it, 4-H has brought me out of my comfort zone. It's made me a better person, and I can't imagine my life without it now. And I think that future students that are not a part of 4-H should definitely join because it's made my final years in high school better. And <laughs> I think that they, my club, is really the best and I'm gonna miss them a lot.